how to calculate occupancy rate on the commercial property. In this case, I'll use my example of a five unit apartment building. Okay, all right. So occupancy rate uh, pretty much is, is uh, if, you have a, if you have a 10 unit apartment building and nine are occupied, that means you're 90% occupied. That's what that means, right? So here's an example. I have a five unit apartment building, okay? So the occupancy rate is equal to the number of units occupied, okay? divided by the total number of units in the building, okay? So in this case, let's say in this case, there's five in the building, I have four units occupied, and of this five in the building, that means I'm 80% occupied, okay? So that so I'm, I'm missing one, okay? So four out of five is 80%. Now, what's acceptable? Well, it depends on a lot of things, but let me give you a great example of why you want to buy a largest, uh, as large of, of a apartment building as possible, okay? So if, let's say you, you have a, a 10 unit building, you have nine units occupied, okay? And out of the 10 units, so that brings you up to 90%, right? So the more units have, the less risk you have for, and it, on the opposite direction, if, if you have a duplex and you, one tenant moves out, you're at 50% occupancy. It's probably not too good, right? So that's why you, the more units you have, the better. This is the beauty of commercial real estate, okay? The more units you have, the less risky, and the more cash flow you have. All right, so there you have it. Uh, how to calculate occupancy rate.